Tip number 30, do paper model of your board. And I think this is one of the most important tips. This is what I mean. Okay, this is a simple paper model of one of our boards. And you just simply print your PCB on a paper. And if you like, you may want to stick it on cardboard or something like this. And then you put there uh, some of the components like the connectors. And then you may want to plug in there also cables and everything. This is how it looks on more complicated board. I'm going to show you here. Yeah. What do you think why this can be useful? Because it can help you to prevent, to make silly mistakes, okay? It's so simple to do it. And you immediately see if there is no problem. I just don't understand why some people, they create PCB and then when they send it to production or even after they receive it, then it's the very, very first time when they take a component and try to place it on the board. I think that's one of the ways which is like bad, really bad. You really should have the components which you are going to use on your board. You really should have them before you send your PCB into production and you really, really should try to compare them uh, with uh, some footprints or with the board which you print on a paper. Every time when we create this paper model and we do it every single for every single board, every time we find something what can be improved. Even after years of experience, always we find something what can be improved. I think many people, they just do it. They just don't do it because, uh, I don't know, maybe they think like, I'm genius, I don't need to do it because I've done everything correctly. Yeah. Or maybe they are just, I don't know, lazy to do it because it's so complicated. I need to spend two hours of doing it. Yeah. Or they have some excuses like, I don't have the components or I don't know what all components I'm going to use on my schematic or in my PCB, and blah, 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 blah. Don't be lazy, okay? It's very useful. Even if you create 3D models of your board in, in the Altium or in some other softwares, you know, you, you are not going to have 3D models or also all the cables or all these cards which are going to be plugged in. Or if, even if you have 3D model or if you have the board in your PCB, it's uh, sometimes not so easy to check if the mounting holes are in the right position or if the connectors are in the right position or if there are no conflicts like this. Yeah. Okay. You are not going to find out this unless you really plug in the card and you really plug in this cable. Or something like this, okay? And when I wanted to remove this SATA cable, I found out, oh, okay, it looks like maybe it would be better if the connector is rotated the other way around. Just do it, okay? I highly recommend it. Maybe it looks like, I don't know, silly or something, but it's very useful. Don't forget, tip Number 30, do paper model of your board. Why? It's a simple way to check if everything fits correctly and if everything is in the right place.